Right, so this is going to be kind of a uh, relatively quick update, I hope, on my Nexus 7. This is the second gen model. I've had it for, I'd say, a little over five months now, I think. I did get this on launch day. Um, it's been truly a great tablet so far. Uh, I've really had no issues with it at all. Um, I had a first gen, and I did have a few issues with it, um, and it actually... I did have to send it back to Asus at one point and have them uh, fix a couple things on it. Namely, the uh, headphone jack just kind of quit working very randomly. Um, let me go ahead and pop you guys up here because i got to pull it out of the case. The case that I've got it in, I'll go over that real quick, is a Moco case that I bought off Amazon. Um, it's a very nice case. Uh, it's probably not real leather, but it's made to look like that. Big deal. Um, I'm sure you can buy ones that are like way more expensive than this one. Uh, this one is, but this one more than suffices for what I need and you know my needs and everything. It's got a little deal over here for a stylus. If you actually wanted to buy a stylus, I've never needed one, so I've never worried about it. Um, I suppose you can always fit a regular pin in there as well. Um, the hand guard back here, or the hand strap, is really just for stability if you want to hold it like that. I do find myself holding it like that a few times. Um, it's really not, not too shabby of a case. I believe it was around 15 bucks. Might have been cheaper, might have been a little more, but it definitely wasn't very pricey. Um, Amazon's really a great resource for a lot of things, especially reviews. Um, and they do have a lot of great products, um, but if you have the Prime membership like I do and a couple other people I know, it's even more of a good deal, depending on how much crap you buy. Anyways, aside from that, here's the tablet. Um, like I said, for the most part, it's been a great tablet. Now, when I first got into the whole tablet game about a year or so ago, I wasn't really too sure about it. Um, I had a laptop at the time, so it was kind of, I don't want to say counterproductive to buy a tablet, but what ended up happening is I started using this more than I did the laptop that I had. Um, now, I don't have a laptop anymore. I just have a tablet and my computer that I built. You can check that video out if you really care enough to do that. 95% um, <clears throat> of the time, I use the tablet. That's really what it's come down to. There's a few times such as like video editing or gaming or, you know, things of that nature, even down to like word processing, which you can do on the tablet, but it's better obviously to do on a computer. Um, this does have word processing software in it. It's some sort of like open office type deal. Um, it's really no big deal though. I've never really used it except, you know, view documents and stuff like that for work and everything. Um, now, compared to an iPad, I don't really care if somebody owns an iPad or an iDevice or whatever. Um, however, if you are looking for something more versatile that you don't have to jailbreak out of the box to get it to do the things that this can do, um, and plus it's cheaper, I would say go with the Nexus 7 or a comparable Android tablet. However, I will say that in the Android tablet and even the phone world, you do get you do get what you pay for. It that's what it comes down to. You can pick up an $80 no name knockoff Android tablet and for the stuff that I would do, it just wouldn't work out. Um, <clears throat> The processing power on this is great. I've had really no issues running multiple programs at the same time. I do use it to read books. I use it to watch movies. Um, I've got the Spotify app on here as well as MX Player, which handles pretty much every codec. It's a lot like VLC Media Player for uh, uh, Windows, actually, and every other operating system that it's been brought to. Xfinity, Netflix, you know, that whole type of deal. Uh, Skype, which brings me to this next part. I've used the front-facing camera way, way more times than I have the rear-facing camera that everybody complained about the original first-gen not having. Um, I don't know about you guys, but, you know, I'm doing this video on my phone. My phone's easy to hold. It's not bulky. It's, it's easy to shoot a video on a cell phone. However, a tablet, you can do it. 
but it's not exactly the same way. Um, that's just my opinion, of course, but you know, nonetheless, that's you know, that's what I use. That's what I don't use the tablet for is the rear-facing camera. I just have never really had the need to, as my phone can do it anyways, and my phone is usually on me more than the tablet is. Um, the main thing that I've used the tablet for is like if I'm in an airport or at work if there's some downtime or if I'm on a break or something and I'll want to read a magazine or read a book or watch a TV show or a movie, that's what it's good for. Um, as I was saying though, really if you want to do the same things you can do with this on an iPad, you pretty much have to jailbreak it. Um, iPads can't torrent, they can't watch multiple codecs, at least not that I know of. Um, I think they're pretty much confined to MP4 and maybe a, certain AVI files. I can't remember off the top of my head, so uh, yeah, it's not a big deal though. But as I was saying though, this has completely replaced my need to have a laptop. Um, yeah, with a laptop you get a keyboard and you get this and you get that, but for me personally, this has worked out leaps and bounds better than a laptop could have, which is why I went ahead and built a computer to begin with, um, just because the computer could handle everything better anyways <laughs> than a laptop could. Unless, of course, I wanted to spend three grand on a laptop, but yeah, I'm not doing that anytime soon. Anyways, so that's really kind of what this update entails. Um, my review on it, or I don't think I did a review on it, but I guess I can, you know, add, you know, a rating or some sort. Um, I would say 9.5 out of 10. I don't see really a reason to give it a 10, but, you know, maybe there is one. But it's it's been a great tablet. The battery life's been great. This thing is just kicking it good for me and everything that I have ever needed. So, until next time, guys, you all stay classy. Rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, peace out.